What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Young Dub doing an update video here. 2017 build, we still in progress. Uh, it's kind of like I told everybody I was uh, looking at doing Impala, so I got some lights in today. Um, about to do the lights. Uh, that's the car right there. Yes, I know the plates say Dub Blazer. I didn't heard it for about a month. That's not a Blazer. I know it's not. I told everybody I was going to get an Impala. That's the Impala. Uh, so I'm kind of doing a little uh, same deal before and after on this one because. Uh, uh, the blazer, I still got the blazer, I just parked it, uh, but I decided to go ahead and run with the Impala this year. Uh, so doing some unboxing here, if the box would open, I guess it's still stuck. Um, I did buy some, uh, like I said, I just bought the uh, bought some lights for it. You see the lights on it, it's kind of, it's a 2000 Impala, so those lights have definitely seen better days. So I got some halos, uh, but I also ordered a grill. Uh, so let me pull the grill out of here. It's packed to hell, so maybe I can get the sunlight in there. Well, the sunlight. It keeps raining up here, and it's terrible. It's like 40 degrees or whatever. So I got a grill. Um, a mesh luxury as uh, chrome. I might keep it chrome, might keep it black. Depends on what uh, color I decide to paint the car. Uh, but yeah, I did go ahead and get the grill, so that's the grill there. Let's see if I can stuff it back in that box. Or I'll just set it to the side here. All right, and like I said, you see the headlights in it. Those are done deal. So I went ahead and got these halos for her. And there you go. <clears throat> so this little manual, I guess, on how to install them. I had some of these before. Uh, I had a Dodge Intrepid that y'all never seen. Uh, but that was a couple of, that was right about, that was a long time ago. But that had halos in it. And now we're gonna do the halos on this joint. Brand new lights. Well, I'll just show you on the back of them. This is stuck in there real nice. I'm gonna pull the whole thing out. Give me just a second. There we go. All right, so good deal. Came packaged real well. Uh, like I said, brand new lights. Good to go. So, um,. Like I said, it's been raining a lot around here, so I probably won't install these today. Maybe Tuesday it's supposed to start acting like it's April instead of October or whatever. But uh, maybe put them in then. And maybe next weekend, God only knows. But yeah, like I said, it's just kind of doing an update video here. Um, went with the Impala, so about to put those lights in there, get her looking real pretty. Uh, she will be getting sprayed uh, probably next month, maybe around Memorial Day. Uh, or possibly the uh, first or second week of June. I'm not uh, sure on that, but kind of been talking with a guy about uh, spraying it, so we'll see what happens there. But it's all a work in progress, so that's what we're running with this year. Uh, that's what the dropping hurts to be running in, and there's the amp that'll be running the dropping hurts. I've been playing around with this a little bit. Got my dual inputs in there. The other ones are still back here. I'm in my garage, kind of cleaned it up and. Uh, Seeing what the, what the hell I got going on, but uh, scar cable, uh, four channel, move these out of the way. Scar amp, well, not a scar amp, but the signal cable's there. The stereo West Omaha, Nebraska. I don't know if anybody knows about them, but I don't really mess with them anymore. But that's uh, this is my signal cable, my RCA's for my four channel amp that I'll be getting sooner or later. Uh, this will be going to the uh, equalizer and to the I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a pioneer amp, but I'm not for sure about that This is my precision power 600 watt. I think 150 by 2 At 4 ohms and that'll be going on these uh, the Duff bounce DBMX 60 so I'll be putting those in sooner or later and I mean y'all see I got all this crap. This is where all my uh, wire this is another dual input uh, that'll be going in the amp sooner or later, but I just got a bunch of you know wiring crap and stuff here and Signal cable this came with the Impala. So that's One of the main things they were trying to like hey, we got all this uh, speaker wire and we had a system in here and whatnot I'm like, yeah, y'all can keep that but She decided to go ahead and just leave it in there since they're not going to use it, but all of my wire you see I got the freaking uh, uh, Let's see here This is all welding cable uh, so this will be what I'm going to be running the bass on, or I'll run it to my amps. Uh, this is my old GP Audio 
see if I can get it. I don't know if the camera focuses on it, plus the wire. This wire has definitely seen it. It's about two years old, but this is my GP Audio uh, No BS Miracle Wire 2.0. So still going to get some use out of that. So I'll be doing maybe two or three power runs and maybe two ground runs. So all that wire is down in this box here. So just uh, just waiting to get everything done. So like I said, I still got the Rock, uh, the four Rockville 8s. Um, Still going to do the two dbmx 60s here in the front with that amp and uh, like i said i'm kind of deciding on going with the uh uh pioneer four channel for the high so we'll see what happens with that but let me let's see i got i did put some speaker rings together for the ace i got them out here all right so those are the speaker rings excuse the car is kind of dirty i just like i said it's raining i just don't have time to get all this stuff together right now but yeah these are the speaker rings already sprayed those and i'll be getting those uh uh about to go out to lowe's in a minute here actually i don't know if you've seen that i did do some little custom work on it uh on my speaker grills put my name in them it's like that on the driver's side as well and like i said it's a 2000 uh, impala so it the paint is it's decent but it it definitely needs to be revamped. But let's get to the big boys here. There are the subs. I don't know if I can pull this. Yep. All right. So there are my 12-inch uh, dropping hertz uh, subs, 12s. Uh, we we working. That's all I can tell y'all. If the weather, you see this raining. It's raining on me right now. So if the weather could get right, uh, I'll get going. I know y'all probably like, man, this dude keeps saying he's coming with the stuff and I... I know I'm working slow, but kind of do it when I get free time. So just doing an update, letting everybody know I'm still working on it. Uh, this is the car we decided to run with this year. I will update my plate sooner or later at 70 bucks. Uh, but right now I'm legit, so that's all I care about. And be putting those lights in and going from there as far as uh, getting the place updated, the lights. Uh, I got some new fog lights coming in that'll be here on Monday. Uh, HID everything, of course, and... Uh, we'll be getting this shit going, getting that installed and uh, getting all the power runs going.